So for today, we're going to be looking at Eververse, specifically all of the stuff that Eververse is selling for Revenant. So we're going to be looking at the Hunters first, then Titans, and then Warlocks. So Season Pass, that's going to be its own separate video because I will be talking about levels 1 through 100. And then we'll talk a little bit about 100 and beyond, but I do want to make a separate video for that just because I do think it's important to address it because I do think levels 100 through 200 is kind of lacking in my opinion. So... Let me know what you guys think about this. If you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. It really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification because that also does help quite a bit. Let's look at some of the stuff they're selling. So first and foremost, we're going to be looking at the Bright Dust first just because I know people are going to want to look at that first. So Atlantic Rush for the first one. We're going to be looking at Twisting, twisting Strands. And then Do It Yourself Forge Master. And then for the universal ornament, it's going to be Mythios Grips for the Hunters, which is the Odyssey inspired, uh, or Odyssey, yeah, Odyssey inspired set, which is from Assassin's Creed. And we'll look at the Titan and or like, actually, we'll do it right now. Might as well. It's not that annoying to look up, but I definitely would recommend this set just because, it, well, for all of them, just because a lot of them are really cool. Specifically, I think the Titans have the best arms in my opinion. But this is the Assassin's Creed set, which I definitely think is worth a pickup just because it does look really cool. Um, here it is for the Titans, Wolf Kiss Gauntlets, Fur, which is super dope on both sides, which is super dope, and right here as well, which is super cool. And then you do have the Assassin's Creed like dagger right here, if I remember correctly, which is weird because it's supposed to go under right here. But definitely pick this up if you're going for like a Viking look. Uh, Warlocks, I'm going to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of yours. That being said, I would still recommend it because there's some great pieces in that. Here it is. I definitely really like this set. Um, even though I just said I don't like it, it's specifically just the helmet, honestly, if I'm being quite honest. That helmet is just insanely good. The chest piece is decent. The boots are decent. But it's like the helmet is just, I use it so much. Which is why I'm like, I like to say, even though it's just the helmet that I use. But I still would recommend the arms. Just because you can do some really cool stuff with it. That being said, for me personally, it restricts my chest piece a lot. Because this is leather. Which makes me like lean into more of a leather slash armor build. Which is it's i would have to like explain it in the actual because like customization screen so that way i just don't sound like an idiot but yeah i promise you when i use these arms it's for a specific reason so let's go back to the store um stuff at the bottom vast expanse for microcosm ostracon colonel's lament which honestly this still looks like uh i was about to say from software again <laughs> uh, for those of you who watched my uh my beginning of the week video i could not remember square enix's name but yeah this reminds me of like a square enix vibe to me personally uh the uh zer shell pumped up dance gardening guardian for the transmats, we have Dreaming Shimmer. We have Cannon Fodder. And then Crystalis Entrance. For the shaders, for the shaders, Lion's Pride. Copper Brand. Uh, Neo Pop Wave. And then Chidden Slate. So that is pretty much it for the Bright Dust offerings. Let's get into the actual store. So Revenant Starter Bundle. Um, I would like this if they gave you maybe five Synthweave templates. Just because five, you could actually change each of the piece. Three, you can only change obviously one, two, three. That's it. The, considering the helmet, arms, chest piece, boots and then the uh, class item. So five would be a little bit better in my opinion, especially since like ghost shell, or I shouldn't say ghost shells, ghost shells actually give you a purpose now. Um, 
but ships and sparrows are definitely more like cosmetic in nature the only the only way i would be like oh no th this price would be good is if the oh i mean to be fair like i would like it if each ship had its own like Think about like Warframe has its own ship that you can actually go into and that's like your hub. Yeah, I would like if Destiny 2 did that. I know that's something unreasonable to ask for considering it's Destiny 2, but I mean, I will always be that hopeless idiot that just hopes for the dumbest shit in the world and that's one of the things I would hope for because it, it just it's, it would be so cool. Uh, for the armor, I'm be honest, I was not expecting this. Um, I also will be honest again, this this is very close to the theme of this season, which I know some people are going to be like, no, it's not. I'm be like, oh, come on, like, let's be real, bro. This is very thematic to what the season is now. And I bring this up because it looks very in touch with Revenant right now. And my only issue with that is Bungie has told us that they were not going to have um season specific content or cosmetics in the store but they also told us that like shadow keep i think so i mean who am i to tell them oh remember you said this even though it still pisses me off but yeah i definitely think this armor is worth picking up for the hunters a lot of it is really really cool again we're gonna be reviewing this armor within the i want to say month but that's too late uh it's probably gonna be either next week or the week after Honestly, it's probably going to be next week because I'm literally going to get this the moment I stop video, uh, recording this video. So, or probably after the season pass. So, yeah, definitely going to get this armor for sure. For the shaders, we have Sanguis or Sang Sanguis, which looks cool. Very much a Call of Duty shader, in my opinion. <laughs> uh, necro, necro, nec necro, sta necro static. Wow, that was not hard to say. I don't know why I had trouble there. This actually looks pretty cool. Uh, I'm not even going to try to say that name. Yeah, I can't say that. Not a fan of it either. And then Mod Cirrus. Cirrus? This looks pretty cool. Hmm. This is problematic because I like this. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. We're not, being, we're not going to be looking at this because I could... Oh, fuck it. We have to look at it, actually. Lupus... Lupus... Or lip, lupus... I'm going to stop saying the names now. This looks decent. Oh, oh, that's cool actually. Dido White Rabbit. This doesn't look bad. Like I don't hate this. Wait, wait, wait. Did it change because I was? It does fucking change. See, that's cool. I I fucking dig that. That's so super cool. Uh, no mind. Hmm, I could do without the rabbit ears, but it's decent. Um, we have Rogue Lightbearer, which is basically just the Drifter vibe, <laughs> which I don't hate. It looks pretty decent. I'm happy that the fur doesn't change color, though. Uh, Kit Bashed Flyer. I think this looks goofy, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, it looks super goofy. Again, bro, I feel like if, if they just gave us the option to actually go in our ship and that would be our hub, I think that would be so fucking cool. Um, I can't know the vagrant shell this doesn't look bad by any means it looks pretty decent um rain of arrows weird friendly flowers metal detector I wonder if this is one of those where you stop no it doesn't okay and we already looked at all that. I guess we look at the emotes, even though I fucking hate emotes. They're overpriced, and most of the time I don't really care for them. High energy dance. That's bait. Dramatic faint. Uh, we're not looking at ghost projections. That's where I crossed the fucking line. Uh, Sacred Strategy. So this is for the new ornament that uh, Girl Falcon got. And let me tell you, man, it looks fucking bitching, bro. I want this shit, dude. It looks so cool. Yeah, we're probably going to get this. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. Like, it looks cool. Like, can you blame me? Look at this. It looks 
Yeah, I'm getting this for sure. Um, and this is the ornament for Girl Falcon, which again looks really cool. Very much uh, gonna do a an awoken. How do I do this? Uh, an awoken royalty uh, gunslinger vibe. That's what I get from this. Uh, we got stompies. Dude, look at these stompies ornaments. I'm definitely getting this as well. There's something in my gut that's telling me this blue glow does not change color. I hope to fucking God that I'm wrong because if I'm not, I'm going to be, I'm going to be mad. That being said, I can work around it. Uh, this is a, if there, if, if I were to choose a color, this is the color that I would be like, ah, that's fine. I, I have like six shaders off the top of my head that I can combine with this and it'll look good. So hopefully it'll change color, but if it doesn't, I'm still going to be mad. But at least I can work with it. Uh, pocket Ace. Funnily enough, um, I think Bungie's. I think they're, they're, are they getting sued or, or whatever because uh, they they got this design from someone else, which is hilarious. Uh, Rose Legacy. It actually doesn't look bad. It looks pretty cool. Uh, solid State. Yeah, I I would like this if it wasn't a shader. Um, it's not a skin, it's a shader. Legitimately terrible. Uh, Vanagonot, Va Vanagander, which looks really cool. Um, some people would say this is definitely like a reskin. Um, I would say like, like 50% of it is a reskin. I will give you that, but it's still pretty cool. And then the coolest one, in my opinion, for Forerunner, Early Warning. Yeah, this looks super cool. And I really, really fucking love when Bungie makes uh, ornaments like this, where it's based off of a design from in-game lore. Well, not in-game lore, but an in-game weapon. Because now, if I really wanted to, I can get some of the weapons from the Dreaming City and just combine it with this. And it's going to look so cool with it because, again, it fits the whole vibe. My only annoyance... No, no, I'm being dumb. Never. I was going to say, my only annoyance, I can't shader this, but no, that... Wait, yeah, I can't shader this. I'm getting my exotics confused. That's really unfortunate. That being said, you could always use the base shader for this, which I think is still available, and just not have a shader for the other weapons. So that's still cool. Um, I just wish they'd let us change uh, shaders for weapons, but why would they do that when they can just sell it for us for $7? Look at this. You get your own brown shader. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being salty. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Nothing too crazy, honestly. I'm kind of not disappointed. I'm more surprised. Um, I would I would have expected a little bit more. That being said, they're probably going to be posting more during Act Two and Three. So yeah, we'll see Act Two and Three to see if they'll start adding more because I feel like two ornaments is a little. That being said, I actually don't think that. Either way, hunters, let me know what you guys think. Titans, we have the Plague Breaker Titan bundle. I'm be honest, man. It doesn't fit you guys like at all. Um, I think it fit the hunters a little bit more because the hunters we have the cloak, which is gonna look really cool with it. Warlocks, you have the whole um, robes, which is just gonna look really cool with it. This one's not bad by any means. I actually think the chest is gonna be a piece that I'm gonna be utilizing a lot. Maybe I don't like this right here. Um, I don't think that'll be a big problem. Uh, the gauntlets are symmetrical, so that's really cool. Ooh, I like this a lot. Boots are pretty cool. That being said, you're gonna definitely gonna want to our mark that covers the left side because uh, yeah, it's asymmetrical, which some people might hate. I that's Titans. Titans always have that, or usually always have that. I should say. Helmet is the probably the biggest like whatever's to me, honestly. I mean, the helmet's cool, definitely really really cool, and I'm definitely excited to use it. But I would be lying if I said it wasn't like whatever's to me. So. <sighs> Yeah, I don't think it's bad by any means. I'm definitely going to see a lot of people doing some Bloodborne vibes, which is definitely what I'm going to do for the Hunters because the Hunters is perfect for the specific armor set from Bloodborne that I'm thinking about. So I'm really excited to showcase that. For the ornaments, I actually don't know what they are. Caress of the Falling Star, really? I fuck with this heavily, actually. This is pretty cool. We don't have an electrical set just for that exotic, so that's really cool. 
Unfortunately, it got nerfed, so I don't know if it's going to be useful now because, again, it got nerfed. But I'm excited. Hopefully, it shaders well. Um, and then Actium War Rig. Holy fucking shit, bro. Actium got an ornament, and it's, it's bitching. It's really cool. I'm actually really excited. I'm... This sucks, dude. Uh, War Rigger, which is the uh, ornament for this. This looks pretty cool, too. Definitely going to go for... So, like, if you were to ask me, like, what would I go for if I got this? I would go for a... Not Scorn-themed, but more of a, um, like... Like uh, someone who a scavenger look. A scavenger look would be really cool with this. So the helm, the chest piece, and the arms, with like some scavenger pieces for the helmet, and specifically um, from Forsaken, the armor set that we got for. I, uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I'm sorry. I don't want to do this a lot, but it's. I just really want to sh explain it because it, yeah, Scatterhorn. The Scatterhorn stuff is gonna be really really cool with it because again. You're going to want to go for a scavenger vibe and the scattered horn set is going to be good. Um, and it's also like not super duper um, elixney theme, but it is elixney theme. It's just not like overly bear, like overbearing for me, which is why I really, really like it. Um, and I think we looked at all of it. Yeah, I definitely really like these two. My only gripe is, again, Curious got nerfed, so I don't know if it's going to be as useful um actium war rig is it's it's still amazing so this is going to be really cool i would just want to see what the ch actually we can see that i just have to switch to actium war rig i'm being the fucking boob right now bro sorry i'm just so excited honestly some cool shit in, in here man all right so what does it what does it do i feel like that came out i think that came down here as well this like shakes a little bit and then the feathers are feathering more so i think that's the big i mean we'll, we'll see right now but uh hunters i hope you saw it i didn't explain it but it was the the bullets the purple bullets that was what was the biggest change to there yeah so that's not the biggest change in my opinion like this coming out that's kind of basic but whatever okay cool yeah titans let me know what y'all think and then Warlocks, we have the Plague Breaker set. So, what the fuck, bro? Sorry, I just... Why the horn down here, bro? Why is it? Why, like, okay. Who designed this? Why is it that the Hunters and Titans will always get something that's really, really cool? And then the Warlocks will get something that's, like, almost the same, just shittier. This is... That horn down there makes no goddamn sense. Like, it's so... it. It gives off the vibe of like, well, we can't just give them the same thing that the Titan and World and the Titan Hunt, ugh, the Titan and Hunters have. We gotta mix it up, and they make shit like this. It looks terrible. I mean, if you really wanted to mix it up, you could have had like, think of like Kung Lao's hat from Mortal Kombat. You could have given them like a spiky bit all around the rim, or like maybe just on the sides like this right here. You didn't have to give him a whole ass horn down here. This fucks this this fucks the whole thing up for me. I'm never using this helmet. Other than that, um, I like the I like the actually fuck I like the bond a lot. This bond is pretty bitching, bro. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Um, I think the chest piece is gonna be the piece that everyone and their mom is gonna be utilizing a lot. This chest piece is super cool. Um, ah, uh, oh yeah, that chest piece is really. Sorry, I'm looking at I'm looking at this more than the other classes, but. For the warlocks they really need the help man honestly so i definitely like the chess piece a lot more the chess piece is the best piece in my opinion um and i definitely will probably try to do this with a vampire build or like a vampire hunter build that's gonna be really cool as well the arms ooh, these arms are gonna be cool for like a techno soldier techno mercenary type of thing almost like a star wars mercenary type of thing because that's kind of the vibe I get from it. So it's kind of weird that it's coming from this set, which is very, it's, it's kind of funny. And actually it's pretty hilarious. Uh, boots are kind of boring, but I think that's, that'll be a good thing at the end, in the end. Um, it, they don't look bad either. They look pretty decent. So Warlocks, I apologize that you guys just got dicked on the helmet. I don't like the, the horn at the bottom. It just looks kind of stupid, bro. 
Um, let's see the ornaments. Cenotaph. Okay. Oh, okay. I was, sorry, I was super excited because I thought it was just gonna be like, boop, not or not even boop, like boop, like a, like the back of the head was gonna look normal. Not, hey man, my head is a comet that's going down, which is even more fucking crazy because the hermetic robes is what we're getting for that. Um. I want to see what the difference is. Hold on, give me one second. I'm gonna get the Cenotaph out for my Warlock. Yeah, I'm. I apologize if you're like, you got you shit on Warlocks too much. But dude, like you guys, it's not that I want to shit on you guys. It's just that someone at Bungie sh like just shits on you. Honestly, it's kind of fucked up if I'm being honest. Cause like, it doesn't really have to be like that. I genuinely like the Warlock fashion a lot. It's just that it, a lot of the time it's rough, dude. It's really rough. Holy shit, that's actually cool. So yeah, right here. I don't know if that was there before, but there's a glow right here, which is cool right here as well. I do wish it was a little bit more like around everything. There is a glow underneath the armor plate as well, but I wish it was like underneath here. Um, I think it would have been cool if, what is it, Hermetic? So this should be Greek. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm getting that wrong, but I would have preferred if they had like the the culture that's inspired by this set to have like the the weapon that's known to be in that culture that would have been cool maybe uh some of these stones were lit up a little bit more or became 3d um i just don't think it's enough uh especially since they're asking for like what six dollars um and you can't buy six dollars they have this system terribly made so that way you have to bend, spend more which is specifically five dollars you can't spend spend six dollars you have to spend five or ten so people are going to usually buy the ten ten dollar one which is just abusive um what's it called abuse abusive uh i don't remember what it's called but yeah it's terrible um risen from scrap <sighs> you know i was okay with this until i saw this um i think this is a little much I don't like this. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. It's not that great. Uh, Warlocks, I'm sorry. I'm not a fan of your ornaments. To be fair, like this one's really, really cool. Like genuinely super dope. It's just the fucking like weird wiener thing in the back is just super terrible in my opinion. Like this didn't even have to be like that. Just end it right here. But to be fair, people are gonna be like, that's the identity of Cenotaph, the fucking long wiener thing in the back. I have always hated that. Ever since Cenotaph has been out, I've always hated that because it just looks like a big shoe. So, yeah, that's very unfortunate. Um, Warlocks, hunt, Hunters, Titans, let me know what y'all think about your sets. Honestly, it's, I would say it's between, honest, no, nah, never mind. I was going to say it's between the Hunters and Titans, but the Hunters, honestly, I think won just because the ornaments are bitching bro the armor is also way better in my opinion i think the hunters got like one with the armor just because i know people are gonna be like you're a hunter man you would obviously say that but this is coming from someone who sees an armor set as a whole not a whole but as pieces so like for example this helmet uh, i could definitely use this helmet i'm kind of actually excited to use this because then i can use um other pieces aside from celestial nighthawk if i want to do a bird look um this hat or this uh, whole cloak thing is going to be really cool because well aside from what the armor i'm wearing hold on let me see so yeah aside from let me see yeah so this is going to be really cool especially if you're going to want to go for like a bloodborne look because this is the type of hat and kind of the cloak that they would wear in bloodborne so yeah i'm definitely going to do a bloodborne look for with that um, the chest piece I think is decent. That being said, I wish the collar was on the actual chest piece. That being said, this is going to be a really, really good leather uh, chest piece. The arms are also actually really cool as well because they're symmetrical, which as a hunter, you really never see. So I will definitely try to utilize this in like an iron banner look because the, the knives here just kind of give off that iron, iron banner vibe. And I think the boots, as boring as they kind of look, are going to be really cool for a leather look so again 
I again I see all of these as pieces to be used and not as a set because I never wear a whole set I never almost never do it aside from like iron banner when I'm trying to get the iron banner bonus so like even the titans I think titans have really good good pieces it's just not as good as the hunters because I think almost every piece I'm like I will use everything and then warlocks yeah a lot of the pieces are going to be really useful I just hate that helmet a lot but yeah actually before we go this is so I'm, ass I'm assuming it's the bullets that are glowing so let's uh, back out and just use something else real quick I wanted to do this for the hunters that way you guys can see what is actually the uh, special thing that does happen yeah so the bullets just glow which I mean just it's pretty cool I think honestly it's gonna definitely gonna be really cool I'm definitely I'm buying this for sure these two right here I'm definitely gonna buy I'm first I'm gonna check to see if uh, if they're selling this this season in uh, for bright dust if so I'll probably wait because I'd rather just wait than spend money but if not I probably will just buy all these three because they are really cool that being said I really hope they sell it for bright dust I hate spending money in this game just because I spent so much already but yeah let me know what you think about eververse definitely some cool things here but still kind of annoyed that the price is just crazy to me um yeah it's it's also abusive as fuck but that's for another video let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all coming up to this point be safe i'll see you guys later